What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for a super quick video and today we'll be talking about triggering standing dunks. We'll talk about what each stick directions can do and at the end I'll give a recommendation on what's the best one to use. And by the way this one here is not a full guide, we won't be talking about badges, attributes and all those kind of stuff. So if you want that, it'll be this video here and that will be on a channel. So now let's get right into it. So first, let's talk about what each direction does. So I play around with it and here are the things that I found out. And by the way, on all these controls, you need to hold R2. First one, holding right stick to the right will use right hand for the most part and there will be some times that it'll be two hands and there will be rare cases as well though that you will use left hand. Pretty much the same thing with holding it to the left, but everything will be opposite. For the most part, it'll be left hand, sometimes both hands and there will be rare cases that it's going to be the right hand. Next one, if you hold it up, it'll be either both hands or the strong hand. In here you can see AD is right handed, so sometimes it'll be both and sometimes it'll be the right hand. In here Sabonis is left handed, so it's either both hands or the left hand. Next one for square button and holding right stick down, it is pretty much the same thing as right stick up but there's a bit of a difference which we'll talk about later. And for the special control, 2K call it post dunk control, where you hold both L2 and R2 together with left and right stick held up. And this one will be used if you want to post up and dunk straight away without even doing drop steps. And last but not least, the one with the dunk meter, where you flick it up then hold it down for the meter. And now for the fun part, then what's the best control for standing dunks? This one here is kinda personal preference, but here's my recommendation. I don't really like right stick to the left or right because there will be sometimes that if you're moving for a bit and you are somewhere near the baseline, it will do a reverse layup instead. We don't want that. Next one, I don't really like using dunk meter as well. I know probably it will trigger more dunks, but it's too hard to time, especially on standing dunks. For those who are wondering why it's hard to use dunk meter on standing dunks than driving dunks, that's because usually on standing dunks, your meter will start advanced, which means you won't be prepared unlike with driving dunks. Aside from you having a heads up on the gather animation, the meter will usually start from zero, which means it's much easier to time because it'll be slower. So I don't really like standing dunks with dunk meter. I don't really like the post dunk control as well. It is only good if you want to post up then dunk straight away without even doing drop steps. But if it's off a pass or off a rebound like this one, if you do that control, it'll be a mess. Instead of dunking, it'll do a lot of stuff that you don't want to do. Sometimes it'll try to back down and sometimes it'll try to do post hooks instead. <laughs> so we don't want that. So now for the verdict, the only ones that are left are right stick up, down, and square button. I told you guys a while ago that they are pretty much the same, but here's the difference. If you are close to the basket, they all look 100% the same, but the moment you step away, right stick down and square tend to do some layups instead. There will be even sometimes that right stick down will do step back animations. So with that being said, the best one is holding right stick up together with R2. But again, that's just my preference. If you think that other controls are better for you, then you can go ahead of course. But for me personally, because of those reasons, I'm sticking with right stick up. And by the way, if you want a full guide on how to do standing dunks, you can click that video on your screen, everything will be there. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.